So that machine that I bought from Aldi was not working this morning. Like the coffee came out, but it was cold. And I feel like, am I skin look dry? I don't know what it is. But it wasn't coming out right. So I was like, you know, a screw, I'll get coffee at the office. The machine isn't working. It ain't working. I ain't got no caffeine. So now I gotta go down the street to Starbucks. Throw the day away. I didn't know we had two break rooms in the office. I thought we only had one, but it was a second one right by my desk. And I was like, that's a break room. I thought it was a closet. Did not know. And it's bigger than the one that I was going to. But anyway, um, I found coffee. Um, I just got out of a meeting not too long ago. And now I'm honestly ready to go home. I never stay in the office for a full eight hours. I usually just come do a little work here and then I go home. So I think I'm going to stop and um, get something to eat. It's a, a pot bellies nearby. I can do a sandwich. And um, 
get on a train and head back home although i'm super productive at work because it's quiet and i don't have the distraction of my dogs like irritating me i kind of just want to go home you know so we're going home Okay, this is what we were looking for. I figure shoes could not be in that little bag because it was two like separate thing. And I'm like, did they pack the shoes up like in two separate boxes? Cause it was like, you know, I ordered two boxes of trash bags. So I just, I've never ordered shoes off of Amazon before. This is the first for me, but they're like some Chelsea style boots. And I don't know if they fit. I ordered a 10. Um, so we'll see. Let's see. They look real bulky. These are the shoes right here. Child, they feel so cheap. Like plastic. But these are the shoes. I really needed it to go with the outfit, but I'm gonna see if they fit. Child, these look like they came straight from China. Express shipping. Oh, bitch. Oh, I pulled out. This is the sole of the shoe. Oh, my God. This is embarrassing. Okay, let me see. Stop fighting, y'all. Mm. They fit, but they kind of tight. Oh, no. I look like a big boot, bitch. y'all know how a shoe fits but it's not like super loose it's just like it fits that's how this shoe feels and i don't know it kind of feel like it's giving my feet anxiety i don't know if that makes sense but my feet just feel like very closed in and i don't know if i should shut in the bag and they don't do half sizes i feel like an 11 gonna be too big i've never wore 11 before but like i told y'all baby these came from chinatown i'm sure so i feel like if I go up to, I'm going to really look like a big boot bitch. Like, you know that episode of Spongebob when he had on them boots and he was squeaking them? We're not doing that. Hey. That's when I'm going to have to throw in the towel. But I literally cannot find a brown shoe. So, you know, Amazon have everything. I'm going to sit and ponder on it and then think about it. And let y'all know. So, in this video, y'all was supposed to see more of the kitchen. Y'all definitely didn't. Y'all saw like a little snippet. My kitchen still ain't done. Same story, different week. Y'all already know how it go. But, for real, for our next vlog, the kitchen gonna be done. I'm, I'm speaking into existence. I'm letting y'all know in advance what's happening. And lastly, I grabbed this Miel, Miel, girl, whatever, rosemary uh, mint hair growth oil. I saw my girl Libby Inspire um, use this in her most recent video. And I have some thinning at my temples and I wanted to try that out to see if this helps. I don't know if it's genetic because my mom has thinning at her temples as well as my sister. So it may help, it may not. But also I just thought this would be really good for... Um, a hair oil for my protective style so i'm gonna be trying this out uh, as well here i find myself again time traveling only in my head from the past to future play or change yeah, yeah, yeah. my emotions are valid 
but the goal is not to be triggered every time. Never mind, it's just life. It's okay for my sanity to choose perfect peace and now forever and always be present. I am enough as I am. It is so cold, my Jesus. I got into the habit of carrying cat food in my fanny pack. So if I'm walking a dog and I see a stray cat, I can feed them. I feel like it's the least I could do. It's cold outside. They're probably hungry. So, you know, just if anybody else wants to do the same. I am fully equipped. Even when the tide and the current start to shift. I am adaptable. I am adaptable. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Safe for me to be grounded in the present. The balance between problem solving and the universe working itself out. All that I have is all that I need. But to actualize it, I can't doubt. No doubt. My emotions are valid, but the goal is not to be triggered every time. Never mind, it's just life. It's okay for my sanity. I choose peace and I'll forever and always be present. It's been a whole week since I last talked to y'all, but your girl was just really not feeling the vlog. I was just real hormonal, real out of it. And I was just like, I don't want to come on camera feeling like that. Like me personally, I hate if I'm like watching my footage back and I'm editing and my energy just feel low. Like I'm just sitting there like, yeah, so um, today, girl, cut the footage turn the camera off don't even sit here and listen to me because i don't know like i don't i, I need high vibrational energy like i don't ever want to watch anybody's videos and they are just like real just like yeah okay and today like that's just boring to me personally like i'm not saying that i need to think that you just went in the back and did a line of coke but i just need I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. So if I'm not on here and I'm just like, yeah, girl, something is off with me. So the fact that I couldn't be out here like that and present myself that way, I was just like, yeah, no, we're not recording. But anyway, I'm back. I'm feeling better. Like I said, I'm waiting on my period to drop TMI, but in the interim of time, like I just been really sleepy, really moody, and just like not feeling it at all. And there's no rhyme or reason for it. Like I said, I just think it's because my menstruation is coming and I'm going through the motion and that's just that. But anyway, blah, blah, blah. Today's Friday. 
Um, as y'all can see, my natural hair is out, which means that it is wash day. I know in my last video it seemed like I just washed my hair, but that was technically two weeks ago. I wash my hair every two weeks, so I need to wash my hair today. And I also purchased a new wig. Now, this new wig that I got, I feel like I want it to be like a more often type of wig. Like, I love my long units or whatever like that, but sometimes, girl, I don't want the hair all on my back. I don't want it tangling up, kinking up. No, 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 no. Give me a little 16-inch, little shoulder length. And let's keep going now this week i really want to add some low lights to it i was on pinterest y'all i want to add some low lights just to get a little bit of dimension in the hair and then i also want to cut some layers y'all now <laughs> forewarn you i am not a hairstylist if this come out to be a shit shot i'm gonna be mad because it's gonna be like that was two hundred dollars down the drain on a wig that you done picked up so a part of me like should you do it but then a part of me is like how bad can it be <laughs> i don't know how bad can it be that's how i feel so i think i'm gonna work on that today i'm gonna wash my hair i'm gonna get my unit ready because tomorrow is saturday it's like pretty much the end of restaurant week y'all i didn't check out no restaurants during restaurant week which i really hate for me but this weekend is the end of it me and my friend will catch dinner tomorrow and then saturday i'm going to brunch with the girls and i also want to check out like an antique store like up north somewhere i don't know we're gonna put that on the list for saturday if it actually happened i don't know but we'll see so yeah i just wanted to come in and check in and say hi guys what's up i miss you guys and also y'all if you've been on tiktok and y'all saw them stanley cups baby did you know them stanley cups was 40 dollars at target what $40 for a fucking cup no we're not gonna do that so I found this cup at TJ Maxx they also had it at Marshall's and it was like $16.99 and it's just as good as well in my opinion as a Stanley cup I don't have a Stanley cup but I'm just saying what could really be the difference between this so yeah I love it and it really makes me feel like I want to drink water like I literally go through this thing like three times a day like I drink three of these a day and these are 40 ounces so that's 120 120 ounces a day which is not bad um but yeah I love that it's from Hydra Peak so if you guys been wanting to stand in the club but just don't want to bite the bullet of $40 which I totally get get you one of these and then also I got this um like fleece little sweater thing from Aldi girl baby it feels like a mink coat all long hairs no short hairs okay like baby it's giving me andriana first like i don't know if that's just like a chicago so if it's andriana first anyway baby it's giving fur okay and y'all saw i walked my dogs earlier it is one degree outside one one single digit and that's another reason why i haven't been blogging it's been cold all week like this like in a single digit girls cold ain't nothing to see we all in the house tucked up trying to stay warm <laughs> like that's it that's it that's it but anyway i'm gonna get back to work i just want to say hi and i will chat with you guys later the next day hey guys happy saturday i looked a little disheveled child because i just got done washing my hair i just rinsed the conditioner out actually so i'm about to get ready to go twist my hair up you know my little protective style that i normally wear but um today i am going to dinner with my best friend ari we have dinner reservations at 6 30 which is actually early for us because baby one thing about it we always late but um uh, we're gonna uber into the city so i don't have to worry about finding parking and stuff like that i'm just gonna meet her at her house and uber there because she's a little bit closer to downtown than i am and that's pretty much the plans for today i was supposed to finish working on the kitchen floor today but my mom was like girl you got too much stuff going on you trying to wash your hair you trying to um twist your hair up you trying to go to dinner like don't call me until you ready um baby calm down you're pressed for what but anyway y'all Mm, that's tomorrow's project but tomorrow i also have a brunch for this girl birthday my friend i said this girl my friend Devan's birthday i'm so sorry y'all i'm just like all over the place but yeah that's tomorrow so it's just things going things going um i picked up something from aldi the other day i thought it was super cute and i wanted to show you guys i got this um bacon dish it is so stinking cute it's like a sagey green and it's stoneware so it's like really really good material um it is dishwasher and microwave safe but i thought this was so cute like hello can we get into it so stinking cute 
And I caught this on sale for like $9.50. I don't know how much it originally was, but it was $9.50. And the next thing I got was a new shower curtain because I got tired of sticking, like, looking at the shower curtain that I already got. I mean, I love it, but I'm kind of sick of it. And I thought this was so stinging cute. I showed my auntie this morning on FaceTime. She was like, that is the most ugliest shower curtain I've ever seen. I said, damn. Like, okay, girl. But um, this is the shower curtain. I don't know. I feel like the older I get, I'm starting to get into prints. Now, this isn't really paisley. My mom loves paisley. We used to have paisley in our hallway, like on a wallpaper. Sorry, y'all. My dogs are walking past, so the footage is kind of like shaky. But um, I really love this. I thought it was so stinking cute. So I'm going to be putting this up. I may use the green rugs and the green accessories that I already have. Or I might switch it out if I could find like a burnt orange or rusty looking color because they do have that off in there. And then maybe do like gold pumps. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I thought that was so stinking cute. And I'm honestly thinking about repainting my bathroom green. Like I am literally in a green phase. I feel like for a long time I used to always say I didn't have a favorite color. Like I don't have a favorite color. I don't have a favorite color. But my favorite color is green. So I just want everything green right now. <laughs> But let me go ahead and get to twisting my head, y'all, because y'all know 4C hair, 4C, coarse as fuck. I gotta detangle it, I gotta hydrate it, I gotta twist, girl. This is gonna be a two hour process. So when y'all will see me, it'll be when I'm probably getting ready to go. And I still don't know what I'm wearing. A mess. So we cleaned the light fixture, hung it back up. I think I mentioned that in the last video. I think I wanna shorten that um, chain a little bit more. Um, but when we cleaned it, the little rim around it was so faded i decided to spray paint them gold i don't know if you can see how dull and like faded it is so i'm gonna spray paint it gold just to add like a touch of gold to this area i think it's gonna look really really good against the green and it'll also look good with the silver as well so yep i am just spray painting these things gold So I spray painted the rims gold and this is what it looks like against the green. I think it looks really good. Now um, I turned the light off because when I turn the light on you can't really see it um, that well. But let me flip it on. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it. I think it looks really good. And I also ordered two gold sconces to go on the wall. I think I'm gonna put the table like right here in this area and I'm gonna have two gold sconces right there. Um, so I just ordered those from Amazon. I'm waiting for them to come, but of course I'm not gonna put them up until I start decorating. I wanted to show you guys the flooring. So this is the flooring that I decided to go with. It's, you know, pill and stick tile. You guys know I wanted to do this project within a budget. So it's gonna replace the current pill and stick that's on there. Um, and I think that it's going to look really good. Like it's going to definitely brighten the sp space up and then really tie into like the green and then the gray contrast. But um, yeah, that's the flooring. When it gets um, done, I'll put in like little snippets of my mom putting it down. Okay, quick outfit of the night. I have on this little hat, a bun, some earrings. I have on this sweater dress that I got from Zara some time ago. Uh, my coach bag and some thigh high boots with some leggings on underneath it because it's really cold here but yeah this is uh, the look <laughs> like the first time throw away all my pride don't want to say I, I love you first but holding it in just might make me burst love in the
Sunday. So I did not come back last night and talk to you guys after we left the restaurant. I'm so sorry. I think I was honestly out of it. Like I had already had such a busy day that day and um, y'all saw that I washed my hair and normally when I wash my hair I do a protective style. I like twist it down and things like that so I could put my wig on, on top of it. Child I didn't even have time to finish like twisting my hair up. I had two little pigtails on the top of my head and my, my wig wouldn't lay flat and it was a mess so i had to come home finish twisting my hair and stuff so i didn't go to bed till like 1 a.m so i was just really like over it um but that restaurant we went to yesterday 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend like literally everything i had was so delicious like it was so amazing um we did the restaurant week which gave you like all of the appetizers to try out um this like garlic balsamic bread oh my god that was probably my best like my favorite thing on the menu like if i can remember the name i'll put it right here of that dish but that was like my favorite thing. It was so delicious. Oh my God. So 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend if you're in Chicago, you like Italian cuisine. Love that spot. I have nothing bad to say about it. It was so vibey. The atmosphere was like amazing. The staff was amazing. Like everything was amazing. <laughs> amazing. Um, so it's Saturday. It's my friend's brunch. I've been out all morning. I had some errands to run. I didn't take you guys with me to do it because it's pretty much like the errands I do every weekend. Go to get dog food, go get gas. I went to the grocery store and picked up a few things and then I have to go to Menards and get a couple of things for the kitchen as well. So I just been out this morning running some errands and of course I am now running late reservations or the time that we reserved was for 1.30. It is currently 1.50 so don't love that for me but um yeah i'm just looking really really basic i'm just gonna throw on some really quick makeup so i don't look like rob zombie and um head on out i just gonna put on a bodysuit some jeans my mom is here she is in a room are in my jeans for me right now shout out to my mom because child that would have been another thing i had to do but I washed all of my jeans and I don't dry my jeans because I'm tall and I'm scared that drying them would shrink them. To be honest, I don't dry a lot of my clothes. I'll hang them up to air dry and I hung my jeans up to air dry and now they're just really uh, wrinkly. So baby, they was not going to pass the just wear and pass test. test. So we had to um, arm those. But yeah, I'm just doing my regular degular makeup. I just want y'all to know the restaurant was amazing. For brunch, we're going to this place called 80 Proof. It's downtown on like Wells Street. And my mom is going to drop me off downtown because I really don't have time to be looking for any place to park. And my cousins, they are about to leave and go that way now. And, you know, I'm still trying to get myself together. So I'll ride back with them, but I'll just have my mom drop me off there. And I don't live too far from downtown. Um, the only thing is traffic so that's the issue but anyway yeah we're getting ready we're going to brunch and i will check with you guys once we get there <laughs>
Alright guys, this is the outfit of the day. I have on this like cream blazer, a new bodysuit underneath it, a belt, some jeans. I'm also wearing the same bag from yesterday and I have on Uggs because I want it to be comfortable and I'll be walking downtown. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much the look. I'm going to keep my hair up in a claw clip to just give it a nice clean look. But that's it. I'll show you guys the better view because this footage is kind of trash, but I got to go. Why are we still sitting here waiting? I don't know. Move fast. Walk fast. All right, you guys. We are headed to the next spot. Hubbard Inn. I really don't know where it is. It's somewhere on one of these streets. Um, we're walking down Hubbard Street right now, downtown. Um, walking? Oh, four minutes walking? Four minutes. It's four minutes away. We actually had found a park pretty far away, Baby, so we're just walking over. It's actually four minutes away. It's actually four minutes away, and we don't have to. Well, if we were the valet, we were the valet. We parked on the street because valet is thirty dollars, but Dove always wants the valet. Dove, Dove wants the but valet. But we're Dove we're walking over. Rich. Yeah, okay. she's she can go ahead and be rich by herself, baby. I'm poor, poor. Ooh. 
Oh. oh, this is cute. Day drinking coffee and tea. JoJo's bar. Show me what you made of. You know what I came for. I see the real you. You should let her at that cage more. I've been playing the cool, but can't lie to you. You know what I'm waiting on. Waiting on. Waiting on. I don't wanna wait no more. No more, yeah. More. For the camera, you needed it, breathe it Just got too hard on your mental I've been around it some time to care Them bills when you had them classes Remember you knew me before the back You seen the vision, you know me for showing you things Knew how to rip it apart You let me inside, I pick up the pieces and play So, come treat me right I know you excited Know what I like already, so I got it Giving all my money, I don't wanna hide it Or fight it Oh my god, let's just talk about it, you guys. Let's just talk about it. We do not need to do this. <laughs> we are all fine. We are all fine. You think I'm like, Megan, did you see your cousin pull out that gun? <laughs> guys, so as you can see, we are back home from the bar. Um, oh. Baby. I don't want to say that, though. And threw up three times. All that tequila I just had is in the toilet right now. One thing about it, I'm gonna throw up and I'm gonna keep on rolling. <laughs> but I just came home and had me a donut because I don't know. I had a sweet tooth. Um, mm. I had an Amazon package waiting at the door when I got home. I'm actually surprised that it was still out there and somebody didn't steal it. Because baby, they be still in my neighborhood. Um, but I'm gonna but I got. So these are some wall sconces that I ordered for the kitchen. I kind of wanted these to sit over the table with my vision, but now that I got them in person, I don't love them. These are the sconces for the living room or the kitchen wall. And they are much smaller than what I expected. I'm going to put a picture on the side of the screen to show y'all what they look like on Amazon and what they look like right here in person. But these things are small as fuck. Like really small. For $40? I don't know. These may be going back. But these are the sconces that I ordered for the kitchen. Slide in the night hour. I want it right now Wanna spend this time on you right now Tell me can you slide on me right now What you want now? Can I fall through? It's on you Your body language clear to me But I need you to say it to me I got a good time being long since you had one Been out of head down to the racks come What you want? Can you slide on me right now? Got a little something for you when you're back home Yeah, we don't need to talk Your body on me already saying a lot You been on edge, you really doing the most I been on plays, I'm done being a ghost to you Some time to get tested These hoes on the play, but I keep it together You know that you get what you want when you selfish I pick you up, you can slash in the back As long as you tell me it's my own possession I know how you like it, I'm all in your head I'm embedded in your balance To be crashed a connection I got a thing for you The way that you do it, you do Make it hard to go out of range from you You know what time it is 
I'm on your line again Pull up to five, I throw you the vibe You show me the things I miss Come treat me right, I know you excited Know what I like, already said I'm fighting Giving all my mind, I don't wanna hide it I'll fight it Slide in the night hour I want it right now Wanna spend this time on you right now Tell me, can you slide on me right now? What you want now? Can I fall through? It's on you Your body language clear to me But I need you to say it to me Hey dolls, happy Monday. So I think the last time I talked to y'all was yesterday when I got back from the bar. And honestly, I was so drunk that I don't even know what I said to the camera. So I may not even insert that footage. But yesterday was definitely vibe. We had such a good time. The place that we went to for a brunch, 80 proof, I would definitely recommend it. I think the food was the food was okay. I think my taste buds was off because I had some buffalo um, chicken wings and they taste like Don dish soap. I don't know. I asked my cousin did it taste like that to her and she was like, no, I don't know what you getting that from. But to me, it was just a little off. But they definitely had like a lot to choose from. It was three floors of food. Teddy, can you stop? I'm trying to talk. It was three food, three levels of buffets that you can grab food from. They had like a Mexican like style buffet. They had like regular um, American cuisine, like bar food type of buffet. They had the fresh fruit and salad. If you're just like that salad eating chick, like they definitely had options for everybody. And I thought that was amazing. The atmosphere was really cool. They play really good music, like black music the whole time because some of these places, they mix it up straight hip hop that's how we like it so that was definitely a vibe we went to some other spot i do not remember what it's called but you guys will have saw it in the video there we got toe up drunk toe up drunk i'm talking about i came home threw up everything called my friends like did y'all throw up it's like yeah i couldn't hold it so it was definitely one of those types of vibes but it was really really cool it was really empty when we first got in here and then the crowd started to come so we had a good time met some people it was fun i did not vlog much up in there because honestly y'all by the second drink, I was towed up. I was towed up. It, I was drunk. It was it was not a vibe. So yeah, um, had a good time. Would definitely recommend any of those spots out if you guys are in Chicago and you want to brunch. Um, I did just get an Amazon package in the mail. I wanted to show you guys. See, I got these workout pants, and they are lined and like this thermal wear and they are so warm normally i like to layer my clothes up and i feel like if you're from chicago you know baby in order to be warm you have to wear layers but i had these on when i was outside walking the dogs and i was i was warm in these Oh, okay, this is it. I was like, did they not, did I order the wrong thing? Now, I have on a pair right now, and I feel like the ones that I have on right now is better lined than these that I got. Let me look on the inside. Yeah, these are better aligned and fleece than this. This must be from a different vendor, but they are just like regular workout pants. They do have like the little slip pockets on the side that you put your phone or whatever stuff in. And like I said, it is fleece lined in inside. These probably would not be a good example to show you because the inside of the lining, you can't even really see. It doesn't even look fleecy, but <laughs> it does have fleece lining inside and it's super warm. Like I said, I got on a pair right now, so I'm going to show you guys what they look like. I get a size medium because honestly, I have wide hips and if I got a small, it would be too fitted. I like my cozy clothes to be comfortable not skin tight so i got <laughs> mine's in a size medium this is what they look like like i said they have like the little slip pocket on the side let's see if i can show you the inside without flashing you guys like i said they are fleece lined and inside so they are super warm and i got them for a really affordable price um, I will have them linked down below now before I go ahead and end this vlog off I am going to show you guys the footage of me 
dyeing that wig that I told you guys. I wanted to do like some low lights in it and I'm gonna experiment with that a little bit later but I'm gonna record that so you guys can see it and then I'll insert like a final footage of me trying to wig on so you guys can see that. Also gonna insert a few snippets of me installing the kitchen floor because that was supposed to be included in this vlog as well but the rest of the video I probably won't be talking it'll just be like clips of what I just told you so I definitely wanted to come and say thank you guys so much for watching yet another hot mess vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one bye dolls actually before I go do not forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video and leave your comments down below okay I'm going for real little update on the floor we have kind of come and laid it out just to see what pattern we want to go with and also we need to measure out the cuts like for instance on like the end pieces how much we would have to cut off and things like that so um we did the initial step of laying everything out and then once we got it down packed we're just going to start removing the old tile and basically pasting the new one on and it should go fairly quick because baby it's just peeling the stick okay guys so here you see my mom using its heating gun to heat up the adhesive underneath the previous towel this is just going to make for easy lift and removal it's just like a super hot blow dryer to be honest as far as the kitchen floor is concerned we are almost there i absolutely love it still have to do the outer end pieces and put the baseboard back down um yeah it, it's it's coming along people it's coming along <laughs> and straighten it and as you can see just some high point just to add a little bit of dimension to the hair I cut some bangs in the front to almost give like a curling bang but not really but this is what it looks like and I'm gonna go ahead and curl them with my half an inch wand but I hated it at first but now it's okay it's not so bad <laughs> <laughs> 